Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Arizona GOP Chair Gina Swoboda. I love you. So, did Kamala Harris talk anything about what is worrying and stressing and destroying the American lives in the debate the other night? Did she express one second of concern for the people whose lives are being devastated by out of control inflation? No. She laughed. She thinks it's funny that the people of Springfield, Ohio have had their lives destroyed. She thinks it's funny that we lost people in the most disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan. You know who does not think it's funny? You, me, President Trump, and J.D. Vance. I recall when former President Obama called us bitter clingers. Remember that? That was at a fundraiser in Pennsylvania. So I will cling to the old rugged cross. A mighty fortress is our God. So I took my Tesla time machine that I have, and I went into the future, and I looked at all the possible outcomes for the United States of America and the world. And if this light goes out, the world will be gone. We have one chance. We are now a net food importer. Yeah. We are having to import food to feed America for the first time in our history. We will there will be untold devastation upon the people of this country, and if we go out, the, the, world, the light of the world goes out, right? So what we need, uh, and what we need to do here, is I need everybody to go to trumpforce47.com. I need you to go to protectthevote.com. I need you to bring me back in the Arizona legislature, where if you do not know, the Democrats in the Arizona legislature voted to double your gas taxes. Yes. They think that's a great idea. I need Corey McGar, I need Rachel Jones, and I need Vince Leach in LD17. I need Daniel Gutierrez in Congress. I need Juan, I need Juan Siscomani in Congress. I need Carrie Lake to be the 51st vote. And more than anything else, this country and the world need President Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. Stand up and be counted. Americans, assemble. God bless you.